very good morning my dear fourth semester mechanical and automobile students today i will discuss air compressor it is one of the portion of the thermal engineering too generally very high pressure air has numerous uses such high pressure air is produced in the appliance called air compressors what are the application of air compressor compressor generally compressed air is used for operating pneumatic drills chuck hammer riveters etc and compressed air is used for operating lift gates compressed air is used in spraying pesticides paints spraying of fuel into diesel engines sometimes compressed air is used for operating gas turbines and air conditioning of aircraft and large building it is also used for conveyors in materials handling generally compressed air is used in running mining machineries where electric motors and internal combustion engines cannot be used because of fire risk in flammable fumes and gases present in the mines make gas very easy now i will discuss what are the classification of air compressor now i will discuss what are the classification of air compressor generally the air compressors are mainly classified as first according to the moving parts as reciprocating air compressor rotary compressor and centrifugal compressor then according to number of stages single stage compressor and multi stage compressor then according to the action it is divided into single acting compressor and double acting compressor next point according to the method of cooling generally air compressor is air cooled compressor water cooled compressor then according to nature of installation first of all portable semi fixed and according to number of power cylinders it may be divided into single cylinder compressor and multi cylinder compressor then according to the principle of operation as positive displacement compressor and dynamic compressors then last one is the according to number of air cylinders that is simple duplex and triplex then i will discuss the terminology of reciprocating air compressor now what are the important terms used in reciprocating air compressor first of all single stage and multi stage compressor first of all in case of single stage compressor compression of air from initial pressure to the required final pressure is carried out in one cylinder only but in case of multi cylinder compressor such pressure increase is carried out in more than one cylinder the delivery of one cylinder being taken as the inlet to the second cylinder and so on then next one is single acting and double acting compressor in case of single acting compressor suction compression and delivery of air are caused one one side of the piston only but in case of double acting compressors Uh, compressor suction compression and delivery of air takes place on both sides of the piston only then what is the difference what is the different depend at both generally the inside diameter of the working cylinder is known as bore generally it is measured in mm then what is inlet pressure it is the absolute pressure of air at the inlet of a compressor then what is discharge pressure or delivery pressure it is the absolute pressure of air at the outlet of a compressor then 
what is pressure ratio it the ratio of the discharge or delivery pressure to the inlet or suction pressure since discharge pressure is always greater than the inlet pressure the value of pressure ratio is more than unity that is 1 then what is compressor capacity it is the volume of air delivered by the compressor and is expressed as meter cube per minute or meter cube per second then what is free air delivery it is the actual volume delivered by a compressor under the conditions of temperature and pressure the volume being reduced to normal temperature and pressure conditions then what is volumetric efficiency of compressor the volumetric efficiency of a reciprocating compressor is defined as the ratio of the actual volume of air sucked into the cylinder during a cycle to the swept volume. Mathematically, volumetric efficiency of a compressor is equal to V1 minus V4 divided by V1 minus V3 is equal to VA by VS is equal to VA by pi by 4 d square L because swept volume is equal to area into length therefore it is written as pi by 4 d square L then what is stroke length stroke length means the maximum distance traveled by the piston in, in the cylinder in one direction is known as stroke length it is equal to the twice of the radius of the crank then what is clearance volume when the piston is at top dead center there is some volume between the TDC and piston and cylinder head this volume is known as clearance volume and it is written as VC then what is swept volume it is the volume of air sucked by the compressor during its suction stroke mathematically Vs is equal to a into L. A is equal to area of the cylinder and L is equal to stroke length. It is also written as pi by 4 d square L. Now, I will discuss some important problem in the air compressor. Now, I will solve one problem. The cylinder dimensions of a single stage single acting reciprocating compressor are 300 mm into 200 mm. The compressor runs at 150 rpm. The intake pressure and temperature of air are respectively 1 bar and 25 degree centigrade. And discharge pressure is 10 bar. Determine the work done per cycle when compression follows the law bit 1 PV to the power 1.25 is equal to constant. Second, P B to the power 1.4 is equal to constant and third one is P B is equal to C. First of all, data given. P1 is equal to 1 bar is equal to intake pressure is equal to 1 into 10 to the 5 Newton per meter square because 1 bar is equal to 1 into 10 to the 5 Newton per meter square. Then P2. P2 is equal to 10 bar. That is discharge pressure or delivery pressure is equal to 10 into 10 to the 5 Newton per meter square. Then N. L is equal to stroke length. Stroke length is equal to 300 mm because the compressor is equal to 300 mm into 200 mm 300 mm is equal to 300 divided by 1000 is equal to 0 0.3 meter then d d is equal to 200 mm is equal to diameter is equal to 200 divided by 1000 
is equal to 0.2 meter. Now you know that V1 is equal to intact volume. Intact volume in meter cube is equal to area into m length is equal to pi by 4 d square l. Putting the value of d and l is equal to we have pi by 4 into 0 0.2 square into 0 0.3 is equal to 9.4248 into 10 to the minus 3 meter cube or we can write as 0 0.0000 9.4248 meter cube. First one is when the law of compression is polytropic, that is P V to the power 1.25 constant, it is polytropic law because here n is equal to 1.25. Neglecting clearance. For a single acting reciprocating compressor, work done during a cycle is given by W is equal to N by N minus 1 into P1 V1 within bracket P2 by P1 to the power N minus 1 by N minus 1. That is 2. Then, putting all the values, we have n is equal to 1.25 divided by 1.25 minus 1 into 1 into 10 to the 5 because initial pressure is equal to 1 into 10 to the 5 into volume is equal to 9.4248 into 10 to the minus 3 within bracket P2 is equal to delivery pressure is equal to 10 by 1 is equal to 1.25 minus 1 divided by 1.25 minus 1. After solution, we have 2756.25 joule. Second one is P V to the power 1.4 is equal to constant. Here gamma is equal to 1.4 because it is the uh, compression is adiabatic process then we know that w is equal to gamma by gamma minus 1 into p1 v1 within bracket p2 by p1 to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma minus 1 here here gamma is equal to 1.4. Putting all the values we have W is equal to 1.4 divided by 1.4 minus 1 into 1 into 10 to the power 5 because P1 is equal to 1 into 10 to the power 5. V1 is equal to 9.4248 into 10 to the power minus 3. Within bracket 10 by 1 to the power 1.4 minus 1 divided by 1.4 minus 1. After calculating, we have W is equal to 3069.86.0. Third one is the when the law of compression is isothermal that is P B is equal to C that is isothermal process work done is equal to P1 V1 log E V1 by V2 or we can write as P1 V1 log E P2 by P1 because because for isothermal process 
isothermal process P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 or V1 by V2 is equal to P2 by P1. Now putting all the values. Now putting all the values we have W is equal to 1 into 10 to the 5 because initial pressure is equal to 1 into 10 to the 5. V1 is equal to 9.4248 into 10 to the minus 3 into log E 10 by 1 Joule. Or we can write as 1 into 10 to the 5 into 0 0.009424 into 2.3025 because 25 is equal to 2170.06. Now, this is the required answer. Now, I will solve another problems next day. Now, you, you should follow my complete note. 